Today on the Dr. Oz Show, you don't have to live in agony anymore. Heal your chronic pain. No pills, no surgery. Today, we are changing the practice of medicine. The new invisible treatment your doctor hasn't heard of. It builds a magnetic field around you, going deep into your body. Is this the revolutionary cure you've been waiting for? Are these things for real? This is new, cutting-edge research. Dr. Oz investigates. This is how we're going to change medicine together. Next. excited about this show than any other we have done this season because today we are changing the practice of medicine and you get the help. Now if you've tried everything to ease your back pain, your neck pain, foot pain, arthritis pain, then this is the show for you. There's a revolutionary cure for pain that few doctors know about because it's not a new pill or surgery. It uses moving magnets, energy waves that change the way your body Copes with pain. Wait till you see what we found. You may not realize it, and you certainly can't feel it, but inside each of us is a raging electrical storm. A biological whirlwind that controls every cell, every nerve, every muscle, every thought. How you experience pleasure, and even how you experience pain. What if you could harness this powerful force field inside of you to feel better, sleep longer, and most miraculous of all, ease your chronic aches and pains? That's the promise of magnetic therapy, which uses the power of magnetic energy to redirect electrical impulses to the areas where you feel pain, so relief and healing can begin. The FDA has already cleared pulse magnetic therapy for fusing broken bones, treating severe untreatable depression and now to treat post-operative pain and swelling it sounds like science fiction but is magnetic therapy for real are we finally on the brink of a whole new frontier to reduce even erase your pain now just to be clear we are not talking about static magnets at the kind you stick on the fridge this is pulsed electromagnetic fields it's pulsing, moving energy. So Dr. James Dillard is a world-class pain specialist who practiced with me at New York Presbyterian Hospital for many years. So Dr. Dillard, are these things for real? I mean, how can magnetic therapies help ease pain? Because the electromagnets actually affect the nerve cells. The nerve cells are electrical cells. And the magnetic fields can actually affect how the nerves fire and quiet them down without using drugs that most people are used to and increase uh, circulation in the area and aid the healing. You take care of a lot of patients. When folks come to you and they want medications or surgery or needles, how do you convince them that magnets might be a better solution? Well, I actually don't have to convince a lot of these people. A lot of my pain patients, they're sick of having too much morphine, oxycodone. They're sick of all the injections. Yeah. And I, I'm trained to do that too. Many of my patients, and remember, more than one out of every three Americans is suffering with chronic pain now. Oh. One out of every three. Many, many of my patients want to try something other than drugs, unnecessary surgeries, damaging surgeries, and these deep injections. So a lot of patients, I don't actually have to convince them. They want to try something else. All right, so this is really important. I want you to understand it well. Here's what researchers say magnetic fields are doing inside the body. Inside this mat, there are electrical coils. And when electricity passes through there, it creates a magnetic field that, that moves through the body. And it talks, it whispers to 75 trillion cells in your body. And it goes deep into your body, places where sports screens and heating pads could never reach. For example, down around the spine, where that red, angry area is. Now, the magnetic field turns on, and when it does it, it, it activates these ions, these charged particles, and there are proteins in there, and there are signals in there, stirs these things up, and these charged particles bring in nutrients, but they also begin to influence things like blood supply. Now, when the blood vessels are going in here, the red blood cells are actually stacked. See, they're stacked like that? They're not supposed to be stacked. When they're irritated, that happens. So when you pass magnetic fields through there, that yellow line, it opens up the blood vessel, it breaks apart these red cells, they're not stacked like coins, so you can get deep healing, better oxygen supply, so the healing process takes place. You don't just feel better, you are better. 
As a police officer, the pain impacted me tremendously. Trying to get in and out of the car, trying to deal with offenders. It's hard to do that type of job when you're in that kind of extreme back pain. The pain started um, 10 years ago. It was very bad, to the point where I couldn't couldn't function as a human being. Literally, I would be laying on the floor, trying to do every kind of stretch, and I would have to call into work, sit home, lay on the floor with ice on my back. It was bad. I tried chiropractors, medicine, and nothing seemed to work. Then I started researching online everything to do with back pain, and the one that struck my eye was electromagnetic therapy. As soon as I got the machine, I remember opening it up, I immediately plugged it in, I was in less pain from just one treatment. I woke up the next day and I started hitting it three times a day. Within six to eight weeks, the pain was gone. I have no pain today at all. So what, Mike, welcome to the show. So how is life different now that you try these magnetic therapies? Uh, it's, it's tremendously different. Um, Pain-free completely. You're kidding me. No. I mean, describe your pain before this all started. It was uh, intense. Um, I'd be laying on the floor with ice packs, um, seeing doctors, seeing chiropractors. Um, and um, then the pain just got so bad that I needed to look into something else. And did you talk to your doctor about it? Um, I talked to, um, actually I talked to him. No, actually I didn't. I didn't talk to him. <laughs> I, I was, Why were you I, hesitating? Were you, were you embarrassed about not talking to your doctor? Um, a little bit, yeah, I think I was. This is, for me, the biggest point of the show. Yeah. I don't want you ever embarrassed if you find something that works for you, just because we didn't know about it. I made a big promise to you folks when we started the program. I said, we're going to change medicine today. This is a novel idea, and I'm proud that we're able to uncover it and describe it to you guys, but what's going to change medicine is not me talking about it. It's going to be you not being embarrassed to talk to the folks that are governing you in terms of your health, that are giving you advice, that are trying to heal you. You need to tell your doctor, do you know why? Because every other patient that that doctor sees is gonna benefit because you were willing to put your hand up and say, you know what, I was having bad pain, I wasn't getting relief, the medications, the injections, the operations, they weren't working for me. I want to try this new therapy out. And you know what, it worked for me. Please share it with other people. That's how we learn in medicine. I'm asking you to help us. I'm asking okay. all of you to play a role in improving the care we give you. If you go back to your doctor and tell them you did this, and it helped you, they're going to be curious about this. 